Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Santerra. Hope everyone is well. And we're still knocking out that special series in honor of Halloween and Mercury Retrograde. And the last Mercury Retrograde of 2020. And who's coming back to haunt you? <laughs> this retrograde season. Because it is the season for old things to come back. And you got to decide what you're doing with it. Who came out? Scorpio, it's your turn. Uh, fun stuff. Okay. Suiting will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the last retrograde of 2020. If it resonates with you, all right. It's your free will do or do you choose to do the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it doesn't resonate with you, leave it on the table and walk away. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might fly out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. And another quick friendly reminder, I'm not sure if I did this for the Sagittarius video, but this is an adults-only channel, and I really don't like getting hate mail. And I, you know, um, I just assume if you are under the age of 18, you click off the video right now. And I'll see you on your 18th birthday, because if I have to go through and age-restrict all of my videos, I will, because I'm not here for money. It's not why I'm here. It's not why I'm here. I'm here for the messages. I'm here for the love and light. And there are certain people who think that what I do here and the things that I say and the topics that I address are not child-appropriate, and quite frankly, they're not. As a parent... I gotta stand up and say, if you're under 18, I'll see you on your 18th birthday, okay? All right, two more shuffles for Sagittarius and, ah, Scorpio. Two more shuffles for Scorpio. See what you're making me do? All right, so, uh, Scorpio, who's coming back to a bat? This is something you had to make a decision. You had to make a very difficult decision about. And with this decision, no matter what you chose, somebody was going to get hurt. No matter who or what, somebody was getting hurt. Okay. Or they had to make the choice. Uh, no matter what choice they made, somebody was going to get hurt. So, okay. What happened? Lies. The Seven of Bats came out. This is the Seven of Swords. There's still two little bats flying around, but there's seven. There's five of them in that bag. Secrets and lies, deception. I'll be back for that later. Things left unsaid. Too many unknowns, maybe. Somebody may have quite just been lying and sneaking around. That's what happened. Okay. Here and now. Nine of ghosts. So the nine of cups. Happy. You're one cup away from your ten. You're emotionally fulfilled. There's still one cup, but... Everybody's happy at this point, so why come back? Ace of ghosts reversed. Because somebody in this scenario is still wondering why the tenth cup got spilled. Someone is still trying to figure out what happened. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to clarify real quick. Universe, Source, and Spirit are going to get some clarity in the cards in the table for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this last retrograde of 2020. Last one. Who came flying out in the shuffle? 
Three of Swords, Magician Reversed. Hmm. Heartbreak and manipulation may have been involved in this at some point. We'll see if they come back out. One more and I think we'll have it. These rods. Okay. Scorpio. They want to start over. Someone made a painful decision and they want to start over. Maybe they still hold a candle for you. Hmm. Okay. Well. Or someone you still hold a candle for, Scorpio. Hmm. I'm not going to throw any more on that. Why is the seven of bats here? Ace of coins reversed. I think it all fell apart because somebody may have got caught in a lie and got stuck on the back porch. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> One more. Ten of coins, possibly. Someone was always working, always at work, always concentrating on money. One more on that ten of coins. Six of swords. Someone may have had to move away for work, possibly. What does that have to do with lies? Oh. I hate it when it gets this specific, but if somebody needs the message, somebody needs the message. Someone very well could have been lying about going to work or always being at work when they were always off somewhere else for someone. Why is the nine of ghosts here? I'm, I'm done beating that card up. If it's resonating with you, you know why it fell apart. Eight of swords reversed. Coming out of your head about it, you found your happiness. You have, they have. You're not consumed in your thoughts by it anymore. Three of Swords reversed, coming out of that state of heartbreak, you're happy. I'm not beating that card up anymore either, so why come back? Why is the Ace of Ghosts reversed here? If they're happy and they're not bound up by it anymore and they're coming out of their state of heartbreak. Two of Rods. They're at the crossroads. They want, to, they want to move forward, but they can't let go because they're still stuck on the 10th cup. Scorpio, I don't know whose lies and deception this is. It could have been theirs. It could have been yours. I don't know. It could have just been simple fibs. Or it could have been great big ones. Somebody's on the back porch.
Someone may have decided to move because of a job or because of money. Difficult decisions being made, blindfold being on, not having all the information. Someone who still holds a candle for you could be a fire sign. Huh. Okay. I'm going to fire an air on this board right now. A little bit of water. A little bit of earth. Can I get one more on this Ace of Ghosts reverse, please? Before we move on to what Scorpio is doing, feeling, thinking. Page of Rods reversed. They can't move forward, they're stuck. They're still hanging on because they're still wondering about that 10th cup. They can't move forward in the path. They're stuck. They want to, but they can't. They're stuck at the crossroads. All right. Okay, Sagittarius. Yeah, Scorpio. I'm going to keep doing that. Scorpio, how do you feel about this? Justice reverts. This wasn't fair. Something about this was not fair. What do you think? Page of pumpkins reversed. Hmm. Hmm. What are you going to do? Apology not accepted. I gotta throw one more on that seven of seven of bats, cause something about this that isn't adding up. Okay, I'll take two. World card and the magician reversed. Had to end the manipulation, perhaps. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. The Seven of Swords and the Magician reversed. chapter may have ended because it was supposed to. Okay. Why is, why is justice reversed here? For how Scorpio feels. Okay. You wanted to come out first. King of Blades. Knight of Blades. This wasn't fair. You're making a logical, not emotional decision. Possibly, possibly they're still watching you. Or you're still watching them. Someone's being watched here. Or you have all the information that you need. Possible lines of communication being back open. Or you'd like to. That's how you feel about it. Maybe you want to talk. But you're making a non-emotional decision in regards to this matter. You know, it wasn't fair. Queen of, Queen of Elixirs, Queen of Cups, you still have deep feelings. And it wasn't fair. How can you, how can you make a non-emotional decision and be logical and be fair and still hold a candle when the situation wasn't fair? How is the situation not fair? 
lost one card. <gasps> and the knight of the knight of wands pops out. Mm. Mm. That's how the situation wasn't fair. Someone was still playing. Okay. Hard to say who was doing what, but somebody was still playing. Why is the page pumpkins reversed here? Two of coins upright, eight of coins reversed, on top of a page of pumpkins reversed. This is how you think. Um, you, you don't have the energy to put into this. You don't want to put the work into this. You just assume it stays stagnant. You've found your balance. It wasn't a fair situation. I mean, you still have feelings, but you have to be logical. Okay. You're willing to communicate, you're willing to talk, but I think deep down you knew. Deep down you knew. And that's why the difficult decision was made. Because deep down you knew that there was some shady crap going on. You still hold a candle for them or they still hold a candle for you, but you just assume not. You may still be juggling a few emotions, but you just don't, you don't have it in you. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Page of Ghosts reversed. Unreversed, unacknowledged connection. One more. <laughs> You're leaving them up in the gallows. Wow. You're not taking their cup, I'll tell you that. <laughs> You're going to let that cup stay upside down. You acknowledge the connection, but you're not doing anything about it. You're not going to make the sunshine in the world again. You're going to leave them up in the gallows. You're going to leave them up in the hangman's gallows to think about what they did. <laughs> you're leaving them on the back porch, Scorpio. <laughs> Somebody may have been playing. You had to make a hard choice. If they're not going to do right by you, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Let's get some advice. Temperance in the reverse and the two of pumpkins. As long... As long as that negative energy is still there... Worry about your balance and your balance alone. Don't let it throw you off kilter. And I have a sense that there's still some negative energy here if you're just willing to leave them up at the hangman's gallows. Queen of Wads in there. Yeah, Wads. Rods. A little nasally today. The Queen of Wads. The Queen of Rods in the reverse. And the Knight of Lixers in the verse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. If the feelings just aren't there and you just assume avoid the confrontation, just leave the cup. To, just leave the cup. Leave the cup and walk away. Because there's negative energy here. 
don't fill the cup, don't take the cup. Okay, Scorpio, that's where we're at. Happy retrograde, good luck. Let me know what happens. Let me know if it resonates. Thanks for coming by. I gotta get ready to do some of my personal business for the day. I was finally able to get my child into the doctor for his yearly checkup after all the hoop blah blah that went on earlier this year. So, thanks for stopping by. I love you. So just know that you're loved, to know that you're appreciated. Be blessed. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. Take care. And I'll see you next time.